Welcome into the First Alert News Center. I'm Hannah Burbank, and here are today's top stories, starting with story number five. A church in North Carolina is facing some controversy for political messaging displayed on its digital billboard. The billboard that sits in front of the People's Baptist Church in Greenville displayed messages regarding heavily debated topics of interest this election, including immigration and the economy, one of which used the term, quote, illegals, end quote. The messages have since been removed from the board, but you can read the full story on our website at WISTV.com. Moving on to our fourth top story. Search and rescue efforts for a mother and her two children after they went over Niagara Falls have been unsuccessful, according to New York State Police. Now, police say 33-year-old Chayanti Means climbed over the safety rail and intentionally went over Niagara Falls with her children, 9-year-old Roman Rossman and 5-month-old Mecca Means. Police determined the incident was intentional in nature. However, police noted that the circumstances remain under investigation. As of Wednesday, search and rescue efforts have been unsuccessful and means and the children are believed to be dead. Our third top story of the day. Residents within the Lexington Richland 5 school district received mailers earlier this week showing several candidates on the cover with the words, quote, it's time to put parents back in the driver's seat, end quote. On the back of the flyer is a photo of one of the district's current teachers, Mary Wood. The mailer showed current board member Catherine Huddle and candidates Ken Loveless and Jason Bainham. A political action committee called Defeating Communism paid for the flyers, and it's based out of Ohio. Records show both Loveless's wife and Bainham donated to this PAC last month. You can read the full story and the statements from the candidates on our website. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back with the rest of our top stories after this. At WIS News 10, we're up to get you going. So you're on time every time. With your first alert for breaking backups and trouble spots. We're getting a live look here at I-26. We bring you all the latest updates right here. Without letting the weather slow you down. We've got the first alert weather day here. Have your umbrellas at the ready. More updates. We're following an incident this morning. We are going to continue to monitor those here. More up to date. Be on time every time. Sunrise on WIS. Up to get you going. Welcome back to today's top stories. We pick back up with story number two. After experiencing a miscarriage and being arrested last year, an Orangeburg County woman is speaking out now that her charges have been dropped. 23-year-old Amari Marsh was arrested and charged with homicide by child abuse in March 2023 after losing her pregnancy. She wants other women who may be in similar situations to know they are not alone and it is okay to ask for help. The full details of her story are up on our website. Now to our top story of the day. State authorities are investigating after a fight at an early voting location in Orangeburg County. Video sent to WIS shows a man wearing a hat arguing with poll workers at the early voting location at the old Orangeburg County Library. In the video, you can see the man throw his hat, then the incident becomes physical. The man involved says the argument started over the hat he wore to vote that said, quote, let's go Brandon, end quote. That's a phrase often associated with former President Donald Trump's campaign. State law prohibits people from wearing or distributing campaign material in a polling place or within 500 feet of its interest. The video and full details are up on our website, as well as all of these top stories you can find on WISTV.com.